Hey everyone, Brandon Lee here with Virtualization Now 2, and there is a brand new monitoring tool for Proxmox called Prox Menu X Monitor. And it's a new addition to the latest release of Prox Menu X, which, if you are familiar with Prox Menu X, it's a text UI Proxmox manager. And my curiosity was definitely peaked. So I installed the latest version from the repo and took it for a spin. In this video, I'm going to show you what Prox Menu X Monitor is, how it works, and why it may just be one of the coolest new ways to monitor your Proxmox servers. So stick around and let's dive in. And now a word about the sponsor of today's video. Today's video is sponsored by Nakivo. Are you looking for a powerful and reliable backup solution for your home lab or enterprise environment? Look no further than Nakivo Backup and Replication. Nakivo is an excellent data protection software that offers comprehensive backup and recovery options and lets you use your NAS or a simple VM deployment as a backup appliance. Nakivo supports a wide range of environments, including Proxmox VE, VMware, Hyper-V, Nutanix, KVM, and EC2 instances, along with SaaS platforms like Microsoft 365. Plus, they offer a free version for up to 10 VMs, and that makes it an ideal choice for both home lab setups and enterprise backups. Now, before we dive into the monitor itself, let's do just a quick recap overview of what Prox Menu X actually is. If you've never heard of it, Prox Menu X is a text-based menu system that makes managing your Proxmox VE server incredibly easy. So instead of memorizing long commands or bouncing through multiple interfaces, it provides a simple menu-driven system where you can actually perform complex tasks with just a few clicks or key presses in this text-based system. I've covered this tool in a full write-up and a video, so if you want to dive deeper into the core of Prox Menu X functionality, do check out those links in the description below. Now, onto the exciting part, I think, for this release of Prox Menu X, and that's the new Prox Menu X monitor. This monitoring feature was introduced officially into the tool in version 1.1.7, which at the time of this video is the latest version of the tool. And according to the GitHub change log, it's a completely new interface that's designed to monitor your Proxmox infrastructure in real time. It's built with future updates in mind, preparing for GUI-based actions that don't require the terminal, and it's designed to work across multiple devices and formats, and built with modularity and expansion in mind. So they are planning on extending this for sure. Basically, it looks like the developers are planning to make this much more than just a simple monitoring dashboard. Very exciting what the future of this tool looks to be. Now, after installing the latest version, you'll notice that Prox Menu X Monitor adds a whole new layer of functionality. So right out of the gate, it includes a bunch of great features that make it what I think is actually a very fully capable monitoring platform for Proxmox. So you get a full system overview, storage management, network metrics, VM and LXC monitoring, detailed hardware information, and even live system logs from your Proxmox VE server nodes. The system overview gives you real-time stats for your Proxmox server, things like CPU, memory, temperature, system load. So think of it like this, it's, it's a great snapshot of the overall health of your PVE node. Now as a brief overview of the storage management dashboard, this dashboard gives you the ability to visualize your disks and your volumes completely with capacity, usage, smart health, temperature, and performance data. And what I like about it too, you can even drill down to specific disks as we'll talk about in just a minute. You can take a closer look at their health and their performance in that storage overview dashboard. Then you've got the network metrics, which show things like bandwidth statistics, active interfaces, transfer speeds, and you also get things like historical usage graphs. With that historical usage, you can trend various things. So if you're troubleshooting an issue, this is going to be a great way to spot things like spikes or bottlenecks at a particular time of the day and you will have all of that in a single glance. 
Now under the virtual machines and containers tab, you can monitor all of your VMs and LXEs in one place or one dashboard, and it shows each system CPU and memory usage, disk IO, network traffic, and it even gives you quick controls to interact with that virtual machine. And I'll give you a tour of that VM and LXE dashboard momentarily. One of the outstanding dashboards that I really like in Proxman UX Monitor is the hardware section. It gives you a detailed insight into the physical aspect of your Proxbox environment. I think this is an aspect of monitoring that many of the other solutions don't really touch on. So you can see things in the physical system like the CPU model, the cores, the threads, the motherboard, BIOS version, installed memory modules, all the way down to the thermal data and the power data of the system. And the system log section also displays real-time logs that you can filter, you can search, you can categorize by severity, so on and so forth. So this is a really comprehensive dashboard that's going to allow you to monitor that physical state and health of your PVE node. Now installing Proxmin UX and the new monitor is straightforward and exactly like before. If you have installed the first version, you remember you just simply pull down with a wget command the installer script and that stays the same. You simply just do the same thing. You run the latest version of the installer script and it will prompt you after the initial language selection, you're going to see that new installation option that allows you to enable this Prox Menu X monitor. Now it notes that the monitor will run on port 8008 on your Proxmox VE server. And once you confirm that and you proceed, the installer walks you through the rest of the setup process and it shows you as each stage completes. Now this is not a long drawn out installation in probably 20 seconds, you're gonna be up and running with Prox Menu X Monitor and it's gonna be activated. And at that point, you can simply type menu, which is the traditional command with the initial version of Prox Menu X, or you can open a web browser and browse out to port 8008 on your Proxmox server to access this new monitor interface. Now, when you first launch Prox Menu X Monitor in the browser, it gives you a quick tour of the interface. Now, one thing to note that it currently does not require a password to access this web interface. So as a note, it's not integrated with your Proxmox user authentication mechanisms as of yet. Also, as a note, it's running over a plain HTTP connection with no encryption by default. And of course, it probably makes it a good thing that it doesn't require a password as you would be sending that over clear text in this configuration. Now these are a couple of the early limitations, but given this is the first release and I'm sure the developer has this on a long list of enhancements for future versions. Once you're inside of Prox Menu X Monitor, the system overview screen gives you that first look and it looks fantastic. It has a modern clean design with cards for CPU, memory, storage, network, and honestly, the interface is so sleek that it makes you wish the default Proxmox GUI looked more like this or takes a page from the book of Proxmin UX. Now on the storage screen, as we detail into this a little bit further, you can see your total storage, your U storage, disk health, and disk types. And it even highlights which parts of your system are consuming the most space. And one thing I like about it as this tool really seems to have a lot of physical hardware checks, there's also this smart status tile that shows the hardware health information for your drive. So that's super helpful for staying ahead of predictive failures and being alert and have that visibility to those potential disk failures. The network dashboard drilling into this a little bit more detail gives you uh, detailed traffic stats, live graphs, and it also shows you the configuration info of the networking, such as interfaces, speeds, duplex modes, and MTU sizes. This is a great way, I think, to visualize your network activity and configuration of the hardware all in a single dashboard instead of having to grep and having to launch several commands. Now next is the VMs and LXC dashboard, which is one of my favorite parts of the tool. It provides a detailed overview of all of your virtual machines and containers. It shows things that you would expect like CPU, memory, disk, network IO. And if you click on any of these, one thing I like even in this first version is that you can drill into a deeper breakdown of those configuration details. For instance, 
on the virtual hardware, you can actually see things like network settings and VLAN tags. So just to give you an example of the level of depth that you're going to be able to see from that. You can also perform those quick actions. As we mentioned earlier, you can shut down a VM, you can reboot it. You can start instances that are not started as of currently, or you can reset those virtual machines. The hardware screen goes even deeper. As I mentioned, I, I really like this aspect of the tool. It provides those system level details, things like your CPU model, motherboard, BIOS, memory modules, and thermal readings, which I think is an often overlooked aspect of monitoring. It's essentially a full hardware audit, if you will, right from this Prox Menu X monitor dashboard. And finally, the system log screen gives you an easy way to review the activity logs. You can see those categorized by severity. You can show how many errors, warnings, and other events have occurred. So lots of really great information there. Now, overall, I think the direction of Prox Menu X monitor is extremely promising. It's a huge step forward, I think, from the original Prox Menu X tool, and it delivers is a sleek modern monitoring interface that in my opinion feels right at home in late 2025 it's just what proxmox needs it's fully featured especially for a first release most notably and it provides all of those key insights that i think you would want from a proxmox monitoring tool it's been awesome i think to see how many great community projects have popped up this year for proxmox and prox menu x monitor is just another strong example of how this open source innovation that we're seeing with Proxmox is helping to drive the ecosystem forward and the adoption of the platform. And the best part is it's all completely free. You're not locked into any kind of paywall or subscription. Now, another question I had on the comments of the blog post is I had ones ask about clustering awareness of the tool. In this current version of Prox Menu X Monitor, there isn't awareness of clustering, so you can't install the tool on one cluster node and then expect it to have visibility on the cluster and cluster operations. It just simply is not aware of Proxmox clustering. However, I would certainly imagine that is going to be on the roadmap for this tool, but just keep that in mind. If you want to have visibility on all those cluster nodes, you're going to need to install Prox Menu X Monitor on each of the nodes, navigate to port 8008 on that particular node and get the metrics uh, directly from each node. Now wrapping up, it's exciting to see how far Prox Menu X has come in such a short time period. And this new monitoring component feels like a natural next step for the tool. It's easy to install, it looks great, and it adds a lot of practical value for anyone managing a Proxmox VE environment. And as we've mentioned, there are a couple of caveats like the lack of authentication and HTTPS, along with the lack of clustering awareness. But even with those, it's one of the most exciting Proxmox add-ons to drop this year, in my honest opinion. If you've had a chance to try out Prox Menu X Monitor yourself, I'd love to hear what you think about it, do drop a comment below and let me know your impressions of the tool. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a like, subscribe for more Home Lab and Proxmox content, and check out my full write-up linked below for screenshots and detailed installation steps. Well, thanks for watching. Stay safe out there, keep on home labbing, and I will see you in the next video.